What's up everybody? It's Graphic Phoenix back with another video today and it is late o'clock on Saturday, May 9th and I'm actually filming the Sunday video. People kind of got upset at me for not getting TIG out in the Crested Gecko like Q&A video. So, today is the day. TIG is going down. Alright everybody, so this is TIG, the female Crested Gecko. As you can see, she's out and about and wanting to go for higher ground, which happens to be my arm. <laughs> they really aren't bad creatures, and let's see if we can get her to jump here. Uh, they do jump, so you always got to keep that in mind. But they're great geckos, like, they're super chill. Super handleable. Uh, the only thing you have to worry about is their tail. That can come off. So if I was to yank on that, that would pop right off. And she's about to jump. So we can see how she jumps. Oh, here we go. Woo! Right onto the camera. And there she is again. But yes, this is a crested gecko. So I don't, I don't really know what to say, but they're awesome. They're great pets. Uh, Tig is super, super cool. She's not fired up yet, and I know the person that wanted me to make a video actually was looking, <laughs> was hoping that she would be fired up. But she's not not fired up, if that makes sense. Like, she's darker than she normally is. But hopefully I'll be able to get some video of her and kind of put it in at the end of her being fired up when I put her back. She gets very dark brown, almost black, and nice oranges. So that's... That's her when she's fired up. She's she's getting there, actually. In fact, she might be fired up right now, which is nice. She's about to jump to me. No, don't do it. All right, so I'm going to put her back now. But yes, you can get them out. And yes, they are handleable. They're great geckos. I love them. She is super, super cool. And for those of you guys that are wondering why I don't breed them, these guys are just my pets. I know breeding's not at all about the money, but to be honest, I don't even know if I'd be able to sell any babies simply because there's so many breeders that are breeding these guys. Especially in Calgary where I live, there's a ton of them. There's Darwin's Reptile, the Gecko Tree. Um, yeah, there's two just to name right off the bat. And they're both very big, expensive producers. Like, they produce very high-quality animals. So if you're ever looking to buy from one of them, by all means. But for me, Tig is just a pet gecko that I really like to have around. She's super chill. I mean, I would hang out with her more, but it's kind of hard with one hand, especially while you're filming, just because you need two hands. As you saw, she ran up my shoulder. Like, she's not going to jump from there or anything, but they do do that, and that is pretty standard for them. So that's something you want to watch out for, but that was the crusty gecko handling. I told you I could do it. I'm not that bad of a person. Now, come on. That's actually her fired up. As you can tell, she's a lot darker and the oranges are a little more bright. So, she's a partial pinstripe harlequin, if you're wondering, by the way. If you're wondering, Morph, that's what she is. But we will put her away. Lock the cage up. I hope you guys liked this video. I know it's kind of short and there wasn't a heck of a lot to it, but I know a lot of people wanted to see me handling her and that's what I decided to do. So if you guys liked the video, certainly drop a like down below. If you want to ask me any questions about handling or anything like that, by all means, comment away. I'm here. I can answer. So I'm going to be at work tomorrow, but I'll be home later in the evening and we'll be answering your comments. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the May Madness videos, as well as check the description for my Instagram and Facebook page. Give me a follow on Instagram, give me a like on the Facebook page. Thanks for watching guys, Graphic Phoenix, out of here.